Hi everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Statler Norris Digital Jumbo. This is a digital stylus with Wacom EMR technology. So it has pressure sensitivity. You can think of this as an alternative to the Samsung S Pen. I'll show you the performance differences later on. All right, just to give you the bottom line up front, this pen is comfortable to hold and it performs really well. It has good palm rejection, tilt and pressure sensitivity, low initial activation force, and it's not that expensive, so it's really worth the money. At the time of making this video, the price for this is US $38 on Amazon. The price will vary depending on where and who you buy this from. And in the box, we have the pen, a nib remover, and five replacement nibs. This is the original Norris Digital, released many years ago. It's priced lower to the Jumbo. And this is 17.5 centimeters, so it's quite long. This is 14 centimeters. The original body is hexagonal. The jumbo body is triangular with rounded off edges. And at the back of the jumbo, there is this eraser button. This thicker and triangular body is just more comfortable to hold. The surface is low gloss, quite smooth, has a good grip. There is no shortcut button on this pen. Here's how the pen nibs look up close. So the Statler pen nib is thinner compared to the Samsung S Pen on the right side. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but there is this rubber-like material at the tip, which is just like what you get with the S Pen. So this provides that little extra resistance when you are writing on glass. When you buy replacement pen nibs, make sure to get the original Statler pen nibs because these are the one with the rubberized tip if you buy generic pen nibs from other sellers and they don't mention what's on the tip, chances are the whole thing is made with plastic and you're going to get a hard plastic tip. This will also fit in the Samsung S Pen. This pen has Wacom EMR technology, so it's an active stylus that has tilt and pressure sensitivity. It also has palm rejection. This can only be used on tablets that support Wacom EMR technology. And this here is the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. This is an active stylus, so when the pen is near the display, a cursor should appear. Depending on the tablet you use, you may or may not be able to turn off the cursor. Let's test the pens I have, starting with the Norris Digital Jumbo. This pen can capture my handwriting rather accurately. Initial activation force is low, so I can draw thin lines very easily with minimal pressure. This is how thick the line really is. This is the transition from thin to thick and it's very smooth. There is no jitter or wobble when you are drawing diagonal lines slowly. The cursor tracking is very accurate. So this is an accurate pen. Next, we have the Norris Digital Original. And for some reason, I feel like this pen is slightly more sensitive. It seems like it's easier to draw thinner lines with this original compared to the Jumbo. Here's the thin to thick transition. And now it looks very similar to the Jumbo. And this is the Samsung S Pen, the one that came with the Samsung Tab S7 Plus. And you can see it's noticeably thicker compared to the Norris Digital. Maybe this is the real performance of the Samsung S Pen. So initial activation force for this particular pen is higher than these two pens. Let's uh, draw the thin and thick lines. And because the thin lines are not as thin, the variation of the thin and thick is not as obvious compared to what you can get with the Norris Digital. That's not to say that the S Pen is bad because for some reason, the S Pen that came with the phone actually has good pressure sensitivity and initial activation force. So here you can see the lines are thinner and I can get thinner and thick lines. 
So maybe it's just an issue with this particular pen that I have or that model of pen. Initial activation force for this very small pen here is pretty good as well. I can draw thin lines very easily. Let's draw the thin and thick lines. Oops, there's a broken line there. Based on what I see here, the best pen performance would go to the Norris Digital Original and the Samsung S Pen that came with the phone. In the second place, it would be the Norris Digital Jumbo. And in the last place, surprise, surprise, the Samsung S Pen that came with this Samsung tablet. Unfortunately, I do not have another Samsung S Pen to test, so I cannot say this performance is representative of all the S Pens that come with the tablet. Next thing I want to show you is tilt sensitivity. So, tilt works. The transition from thin to thick is not that smooth due to this app that I'm using. This app is Concepts. This app is Sketchbook and the thin to thick transition here due to the tilt sensitivity that transition is very smooth so the performance you can get will depend also on the app you use the last thing i want to talk about is palm rejection there is default palm rejection provided by the pen so right now with this particular app which is wacom bamboo paper i can actually write and draw with my finger Let's see if palm rejection works when I place my palm on the display and write. And palm rejection works pretty well. I did not introduce any straight strokes while resting my palm on the display. Depending on the app you use, sometimes you can tell the app to accept only pen input for writing and drawing. And this app is able to do that. So here I can draw with my finger. If I turn on strict palm rejection here, now I cannot draw with my finger, but I can still write or draw with my pen. So in this case here, there is absolutely no way for you to introduce any straight strokes. The eraser is quite convenient. However, the behavior of the eraser will depend on the app you use. So if I use the eraser to erase the lines here, I can see, well, it's doing its job. Let me choose the eraser button there and I can erase as well but you can see the eraser here is very small compared to this eraser here this app is Samsung notes and on this Samsung tab s7 plus the latency response is really good so there is almost no gap between the pen tip and the line when I'm drawing fast or writing fast here with the eraser when I erase it erases that stroke not that tiny area this app is Medibank Paint Pro and the latency here is very noticeable. Let's try the eraser again. So we have a thick eraser here and let's try the eraser tool. So we have a thin eraser that follows the settings that I have here. And now with the eraser tool selected, when I erase with the back of the pen, I get that thin line. So the tool that you select in this case will affect the eraser at the back. If you are in the brush mode and you use the eraser, you are going to get a thick line. So this is something you have to test out on your own using the app you use. I prefer this pen over the original because this body is just more comfortable to hold and I prefer this pen over the Samsung S Pen because there is this side button here that I always click on accidentally when I'm writing or drawing so I have to make a conscious effort to hold the pen in such a way that I don't click on this. Without that side button here, it's actually a pro to me so this is a fantastic stylus and it's really worth the money.